There was times this year where teammates were ahead of me and mentally before the race even started or midway through the race, I said, I can't beat them. And I want to change that starting with this track season. Hello everybody and welcome to a JK Running Productions video. If you guys are new here to this channel, on this channel I document my running journey. I show you guys my workouts, my races, my runs. So if you're interested in seeing any of those types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. With that everybody though, today's video is episode 8 of the Breaking 9 Project. The Breaking 9 Project is a video series documenting my indoor track season with the goal of breaking 9 minutes in the 3K. So in this episode, episode. This isn't going to be a time trial. This isn't going to be a race video. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through my training last week and give you guys a little bit of insight of the workouts I'm doing, how a typical week is looking for me, and how I'm trying to break the nine minutes in the 3k. So I'm going to look at my Strava to go through the training of what I did that week. If you're interested in seeing my Strava, it should be down below. So to start out Monday, I had a 10 mile recovery run. Depending on when a meet is, Monday could be a workout but since we didn't have a meet during this week and there wasn't a meet on Saturday, it was just a recovery run. And on that 10 mile recovery run, I averaged 648 pace. That's an average pace I would say I do for most of my recovery runs. So now moving on, on Tuesday, I did a four mile morning run in the morning. And then in the afternoon was a workout and the workout was three by mile. The average splits on that were 521, 519, 517. Then we did an 800 at mile pace, which was 225. And then two by 400 with 200 meter recovery. The average was 7470 for those 400s. Moving on from that on Wednesday, I didn't do a morning run because I was up late doing homework. And then Wednesday afternoon, I did a steady state. It was one of my best steady states I've ever done. I averaged 550 pace. And the splits on that steady state were 552, 546, 546, 549, 5. 50. So I was really happy with that. Then the next day I actually did my recovery run in the morning. So that recovery run and that recovery run was nine miles and the average pace was like 749 pace. There was snow on the ground. It was wet. Couldn't get into a rhythm. The traction was terrible, but it was just all about getting the miles. And so I got the nine miles in and then Thursday afternoon, I did a four mile double run. The average on that was 712 pace. Now moving on to Friday. On Friday, I did another workout. The workout was four by 2K and the splits on that were 701, 655, 652, 647. I had my teammate for the first three reps and then I did the the last rep by myself and then to close out the week i did a 12 mile long run the average on that long run was 641 pace so that's a solid average kind of pushed it a little bit i was averaging 630 620s in there there was some slow miles because the wind was pretty bad in one direction but overall it was a solid run really happy with it with that everybody though that's a typical training week for me if you guys have any questions about my training put them in the comment section below overall the total for that week was 60 69 miles, a little over 69 miles, which is some of the higher mileage weeks I've ever done. I've stacked together really good training the past four weeks. I would say the past three months I've put together some of the best stretches I've training done in terms of I haven't been sick, which because I haven't been sick, I've been able to go into these workouts in a way better headspace. I'm excited about these workouts. I'm excited to see what I can do. But with that guys though, if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Strava so you can see more of my training and also make sure to join that JK Running Productions Strava Club on there. With that though, I'm gonna sign off like I always do. The grind never stops.